Hi guys, Camilla here and welcome to my YouTube channel and another video of card making. Today I'm gonna create four cards using one stencil by Tim Holtz uh, called Flourish. So I start off by adhering a very thick piece of watercolor cardstock to my surface, which in this case is a laminated piece of uh, printer's paper and I use some masking tape to adhere both cardstock and my stencil and now I'm using Dreamweaver pearl embossing paste to cover my stencil. For the purpose of this video I created four surfaces with the same stencil. This one used pearly embossing paste, this one used a regular white embossing paste also by Dreamweaver. So this particular one which is uh, basically white embossing paste I'm gonna cover using some embossing powders I'm gonna use wow silver and gold embossing powders and I'm gonna add the powder when the embossing paste is still wet and leave it out to dry and then when embossing paste is dry I'm gonna heat emboss the embossing powder I added on top and I am going to show you the process later on for now I'm gonna just leave it out to dry For the next card, I used also pearl embossing paste along with my distress inks. I used mustard seed, lipstick red and wilted violet distress inks and I mixed them with my pearly embossing paste and then I mixed them and covered the surface of the stencil and I thought it turned out really really beautiful. Uh, you must remember that when you mix embossing paste with distress inks or any inks uh, the color will become more pastel. In this case I really really loved it. I like how these vibrant colors became softer and more delicate and they nicely blended together while I was adding uh, each color to my stencil. And I must say that I especially loved how Wilted Violet became this beautiful soft purple color and it blended so beautifully with uh, Lipstick Red uh, which kind of became this bright pink and this is the my favorite moment when you know you peel off the uh, tape and and you take off the stencil and you see the magic happen and I just I was in love with how this turned out I hope you like it too and you'll see later in the pictures how beautiful this pearly paste uh, here it is uh, looks like in the light I've created a very simple card using thinking of you sentiment from clearly besotted and now for the third card I also will be using some distress inks but this time I'll be using them as watercolor and I'm gonna go over my front panel covered with embossing paste that is already dry with my three colors and I'm using mustard seed lucky clover and mermaid lagoon which will blend nicely as you can see uh, because they are from the same color family I left the panel to dry and this is how it looked like after it was dry so the embossing paste kind of peeked through and stayed white and the background was colored. I then used W plus 9 sunshine layers dye and I as you can see used it twice to cut out a smaller piece of uh, the colorful card front and now I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. It's also from W plus 9, it's from Happy Wishes stamp set. I'm stamping it with uh, Versamark uh, translucent ink. It's a sticky ink for heat embossing and I'm gonna use WOW embossing powder in opaque white. I'm gonna heat set it. I'm gonna use the Tumbo Mono liquid glue. I'm gonna add it at the back of my sentiment because it's really big so I could use that surface to add some glue. And we all know how difficult it is to add vellum onto our panels without hiding the glue so this big sentiment was really perfect for it. I used some acrylic block to uh, adhere it properly and now I'm just gonna bend my vellum. Uh, before that I'll add some double-sided tape to adhere my front panel, bend the vellum behind my card front or rather card base. I used this beautiful dark gray card base to cover the vellum inside I added another piece of cardstock and that's how the finished card looks like. For this uh, next card I am using the panel with pearl embossing paste. I really like how elegant it looks on the white surface and I'm gonna also use the pattern paper from Lone Fawn, uh, perfectly played. I love this uh, pattern paper set, it's just so gorgeous. 
and so I'm gonna use the gray uh, card base I'm gonna add this perfectly played beautiful uh, pattern paper and then I'm gonna uh, top that up with my uh, panel I'm using some double-sided tape to adhere it I also wanted to keep this card pretty simple after I added my panel, I started working on my sentiment, which was from inspired by stamping stamps at spring blossoms. And I wanted to create this card for my mom for Mother's Day, which in Poland is on the 26th of May, so I still have some time. And I also die cut these two elements out of the same gray cardstock as my card base and the same pattern paper I have at the back. I stamped the sentiment Happy Mother's Day using Versamark sticky ink. I covered it with opaque white uh, wow embossing powder, I heat set it and I added it on the front of my card. I added some Tambo Mono liquid glue as well as double sided tape to adhere my sentiment. I wanted it to go a little bit off the, to the side so I cut off the excess and that finished off my card and I really love how this beautiful pearly embossing paste looks uh, against the colorful background. And for the last card, as you remember, I added some embossing powder on top of the embossing paste. Now the paste dried, I'm gonna heat emboss the embossing powder and you'll see how beautiful it will turn out. I really love how with one stencil you can make so many different cards and I really love how uh, beautiful and elegant this embossing powder looked on the embossing paste. I love this pattern from Tim Holtz. And so now I'm gonna add my card front onto the card base which is a craft a card stock. And I also am going to use some vellum for uh, the uh, background for the sentiment. I die cut these two words thanks from Clearly Besotted and I added them on top of each other, uh, which was a bit of a work, but eventually it worked out because it's a very tiny uh, die cut. And I'm gonna cover the whole die cut with a gold embossing powder by WOW, and I'm gonna heat set it. I wanted a little bit more dimension to the sentiment, so that's why I added uh, two die cuts on top of each other, and I also used very thick uh, watercolor cardstock. And now I'm simply gonna bend my uh, piece of uh, vellum to go behind my card front. I'm using double-sided tape to adhere my panel and then I'm gonna use Tumble Mono liquid glue to adhere my dimensional sentiment. And that finished this card, uh, number four. I really love how it turned out. It's very elegant, I think, and I might as well have used some kind of wedding uh, sentiment on it and it would be perfect. Oh, and I just forgot, I'm also using the Happy Little Stampers beautiful glitter um, enamel dots as an embellishment and that finished off my card. I hope you like it. I really like how it turned out and I also think it will be perfect with some kind of wedding uh, sentiment because it looks so elegant. So these were the four cards using one stencil by Tim Holtz. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon with a new card making video. Have a great day! Bye!